Why would an advanced space company need a bakery to bake French croissants for their hardworking employees? Sadly not. This kind of bakery is how SpaceX manufactures the most important parts of their thermal protection systems. In other words, this is the facility where SpaceX creates their heat shield tiles. There were rumors floating around on the internet about its location for many years, and now we know it's been operating out of Cape Canaveral, Florida since 2019. First, it was just a bit of buzz on some forums, and then there were a few pictures of SpaceX trucks outside of the place. But for the most part, the facility has been shrouded in mystery. From the outside, it looks like a somewhat normal warehouse, except for the external chemical and piping installations. But inside, workers are creating heat shield tiles for what will be the most advanced rocket the world has ever seen. In May 2020, there was an inspection of the facility that gave us a much deeper insight into what's actually happening there. It's said that there are about 20 people employed there, and it runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 3 shifts. The number of employees has almost certainly increased though, because we're approaching the Starship rocket's first orbital test flight and the heat shield is a big part of that. The report also states that the facility operates in a 40,000 square foot space, and this is used to manufacture the ceramic heat shield tiles for Starship. So what are these tiles actually made of? Well, they need to be able to absorb extreme temperatures and also prevent heat from reaching the stainless steel underneath. For this, they need to have very low thermal conductivity and high specific heat capacity and melting point. Elon Musk has mentioned that the tiles are made of silicon and aluminum oxide, but you might be surprised to know that the tiles are a bit like hard foam and are actually 90% air and only 10% silica. That's because of air's low thermal conductivity and high specific heat capacity. This is very similar to the materials that were used on the Space Shuttle's thermal protection system. The Space Shuttle tiles were temperature tested up to 1260 degrees Celsius or 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's a cool video of a guy picking up a red hot cube of death. You might think this is CGI, but it isn't. The reason he can do that is because these tiles are incredibly poor conductors of heat. So he can just pick it up and it won't burn them. And this is how the material is going to protect the hull of Starship from extreme temperatures. One half of the SN20 is currently littered with these tiles, of which were almost certainly made in the SpaceX bakery. But it's not entirely clear if SpaceX is slowly transitioning to creating some of these tiles at Starbase itself. On June 7th, Twitter user Starship Gazer took some photos of a delivery to Starbase. They managed to get fairly clear photos of delivery labels. This guy has a really good camera. Some of these labels reference something called a mini bakery. This could mean that they're preparing to build a local bakery, but again, not the kind that serves up baguettes to hungry engineers. It's possible that some of these pallets contain equipment for building a mini facility that will create heat shield tiles. This isn't for certain though, as some people still think it could be a name for the delivery itself, which would mean the pallets are simply filled with tiles from Cape Canaveral. But Starship Gazer thinks that the red wrap pallets are most likely heat shield tiles, and the wood boxes with the mini bakery labels could be the equipment that will be used to create the tiles at Starbase. All we can do is speculate with this stuff, but we are leaning towards the idea that Starbase will definitely one day have a nice smelling bakery. Still, calling these places bakeries makes it sound like making a heat shield tile is as simple as baking a cake. You get some foam stuff, make some cool hexagons, add some black paint, stick a bit of air inside there, and there you go, a heat shield. But that's comically far from the truth. In fact, a fully reusable thermal protection system might be one of the greatest challenges that Starship will need to overcome before we become multiplanetary. And that is saying something. There are tons and tons of pictures of the tiles being installed on the SN20. Many of these tiles are labeled with a red sticker, and this is because when they were inspected, they were found to be broken in some way. Green stickers indicate they were found to be loose or misaligned. There are more red and green stickers than you might expect. The reason for this is that SpaceX is still working out all the kinks in the manufacturing and attachment process. In the future, this kind of inspection should be completely unnecessary. The Starship's thermal protection system will eventually be so good that all of these potential problems will seem like a distant memory. It's good to learn about these things though. After all, one day these tiles might be all that stands between your comfy Starship seat and certain death. Having said that, the everyday astronaut recently did a three-part tour of Starbase with Elon Musk himself, and in part two, they ended up discussing the details of the heat shield. Musk goes on to describe how robust the heat shield needs to be because of the sheer range of temperature the materials will experience. At first, it will be at room temperature, then it will experience sub-zero temperatures, then it will get heated up with gas to way above room temperature, then it will cool down once again, then it will get insanely hot on re-entry. That's a lot of expanding and contracting, and of course the whole cycle starts again once Starship lands and gets ready for another launch. In other words, the
the heat shield needs to be able to do all of that over and over again with little to no serious maintenance. That's if SpaceX wants to achieve their goal of launching Starship three times a day. To put this into perspective, it's worth noting how the Space Shuttle actually used a similar heat shield for its launches, but it was notoriously unreliable and took literal months between launches to inspect and repair. There are many reasons for this. All the tiles were different sizes because the Space Shuttle is a much more complicated shape than Starship. Each tile had to be glued on manually and they had the potential to get damaged on launch because of ice falling off the main tank. Starship avoids most of these problems and it highlights the ingenuity of SpaceX engineers. As of right now, Starship's tiles are fitted and inspected manually, but it's far more efficient than the space shuttle gluing method. They're using red robots to weld mounting pins into the stainless steel, and then a person just comes along and gives it a nice push into place. Maybe it gets somewhat difficult when you realize there are 15,000 tiles that need attaching per Starship as of right now. Actually, it's more than that, because many of the tiles will get broken during installation along with human error as they're being moved around. Still, compared to the space shuttle which needed over 20,000 tiles individually glued into place of which most were not the same shape and size, Starship is much simpler. On top of that, the tiles can't be so far apart that they allow hot gas to get into the gaps and damage the stainless steel, but not too close together that they bang into each other and break. The robots that weld the mounting pins probably solve a lot of this problem. This is partly why the tiles are a hexagon shape. If the shape was square, for example, hot gas could easily run through the gaps between the tiles, which could expose the internal structure to the extreme temperatures. It's times like these when you truly appreciate the world of engineering. Even though it sounds multiple levels of impossible to actually pull this off, it's difficult to be skeptical. After all, SpaceX solves problems like these for breakfast. So despite the harmless name of Bakery, it's arguably one of the most important facilities that SpaceX has in its arsenal, and it has a whole lot of work to do to realize the Martian dream. Once the Starship rocket finally executes its orbital test flight, we'll get to see the heat shields fully in action. Well, hopefully not too much in action. In the same Everyday Astronaut Starbase tour, Elon described how he would actually be pleased with progress if the SN20 didn't explode on the ground, and he would be more than pleased if the rocket actually gets to orbit. The famous SpaceX methodology is to launch rockets just to get data faster, even if they explode. Recently, a picture was taken by Starship Gazer of a camera mounted onto the outside of Starship with thermal protection. With a bit of luck, we'll be able to watch that camera feed during the first orbital launch, and hopefully it gives us some insight into how the heat shield works. With that being said, we've come to the end of the video. What do you think of SpaceX's strategy for thermal protection? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all things futuristic.